The Clean Sweep is a pneumatic vacuum accessory that provides an inexpensive maintenance solution by adding a high vacuum wand for cleanup to a low vacuum dust collector, the Gold Series. The items that come with the Clean Sweep are the wand, a crevice tool, the hose, an inlet assembly with rope top to seal your inlet, hose clamps, your hose shut off valve, a hose hanger, a vacuum pump, your compressed air shut off valve, and the hardware. The items that you will need to install the clean sweep are a pipe wrench, ratchet with sockets, you'll need a 9 16 and a 5 16 socket, a 9 16 open end wrench, a utility knife, a drill with a drill bit, and a hole saw, and you'll also need to provide a compressed air feed for your compressed air shutoff bag. And as always, you'll need your safety glasses. Determine a suitable location to install the hose hanger. One of the dust collector support legs will normally be the best location, but it can also be installed on an adjacent wall or anywhere that is convenient. Keep in mind that the hose hanger must be installed low enough that the shutoff valve is within reach. It must also be located within 12 feet of the dust collector inlet. Mark the locations of the four holes in the back plate of the hose hanger on the support leg. Drill four 7 16 inch diameter holes through the support leg in the marked locations. Attach the hose hanger to the support leg with the 3 8 inch bolts, nuts, lock washers, and flat washers which are included. Attach the hose shutoff valve to the top side of the coupling on the hose hanger. Remember to use Teflon tape on all threaded pipe connections. The valve should be turned to a position where the shutoff handle is easy to open and close. Attach the vacuum pump to the bottom side of the coupling on the hose hanger. The vacuum pump should be turned so that the air inlet is pointing to the side of the hose hanger. This will keep the compressed air shutoff valve and pipe from interfering with the vacuum hose when it is rolled onto the hose hanger. Attach the compressed air shutoff valve to the vacuum pump. First, screw the 3 8 inch threaded pipe into the inlet of the vacuum pump. Now connect the shutoff valve to the other end of the threaded pipe. Be sure to install the valve with the airflow arrow pointing toward the vacuum pump. Next, screw the muffler into the bottom port of the valve. Determine a suitable location on the dust collector inlet to attach the vacuum hose inlet plate. It should be located on either side panel of the inlet. The material from the clean sweep should enter the inlet perpendicular to the collector airflow. It should also be located upstream from the channel baffles in the inlet. The baffles will keep large particles from contacting the dust collector filter. If you have a tall support structure, make sure the vacuum hose inlet plate is within 12 feet of the hose hanger. Mark the locations of the four holes in the vacuum hose inlet plate on the inlet panel. Drill four 5 16 inch diameter holes through the inlet panel in the marked locations. Cut a 2 and 1 4 inch diameter hole centered between the four holes in the inlet panel. Apply sealant tape to the inlet panel between the four 5 16 inch diameter holes and the 2 and 1 4 inch diameter hole. Attach the inlet plate with the four 3 8 inch gold thread cutter bolts. A pneumatic wrench is recommended to install these bolts if available. Connect the one and a half inch threaded pipe to the elbow on the inlet plate. Slide one end of the 12 and one half foot long vacuum hose onto the smooth end of the threaded pipe. Secure the hose with a hose clamp. If the distance between the hose shutoff valve and the vacuum hose inlet plate 
is between 10 and 12 feet. Then simply slide the end of the hose onto the vacuum hose shutoff valve and secure it with a hose clamp. If the distance between the hose shutoff valve and the vacuum hose inlet is less than 10 feet, then remove the cuff from the end of the hose. Turn the cuff clockwise to remove it. Cut the hose the proper length between the hose shutoff valve and the elbow on the vacuum hose inlet plate. Screw the cuff back onto the end of the hose by turning it counterclockwise. Slide the cuff over the end of the hose shutoff valve. Secure the cuff with a hose clamp. Slide the cuff on one end of the main vacuum hose onto the end of the vacuum pump. Secure the cuff with a hose clamp. Install the air supply to the 3 8 inch threaded port on the compressed air shutoff valve. These fittings and pipe or hose must be supplied by the customer. Close the hose shutoff and compressed air shutoff valves before connecting the compressed air line to the compressed air shutoff valve. For optimum performance, use a 3 8 inch air line at minimum. A 1 half inch line is recommended. Install the crevice tool by simply sliding the end of the tool onto the cuff on the vacuum hose. Install the vacuum wand by removing the cuff from the end of the vacuum hose, turning clockwise. Attach the transition cuff to the hose by turning it counterclockwise. Assemble the vacuum wand. Slide the tube with the spring-loaded plunger into the tube with a receiver hole. The plunger should engage the receiver hole when properly aligned. Insert the floor sweep into the tube end with a compression fitting and tighten the fitting. Insert the other end of the tube into the transition cuff. The clean sweep is now ready to use. Open the hose valve and then the compressed air valve. The clean sweep should now be operating. When you are finished using the clean sweep, close the compressed air valve and then the hose valve. When it is not in use, the vacuum hose can be rolled onto the hose hanger.